welcome back to Let's Talk Books. Today I am going to be reviewing a poetry book for you guys, which I'm really excited about because this year I have been reading poetry and poetry and I'm excited to finally review one for you. So the book is Love Her Wild by Atticus. If you don't know who Atticus is and you have an Instagram, you have been under a rock. His Instagram is definitely widely popular because he has been sharing his poems for a while now. And when I found out that he was coming out with a full book of poems, I was like, yes, please, yes. So when I got the email to receive this book for a review, I was like so, so ecstatic because I needed this in my hands. And I have it. And when I got it, I read it. I like that. It's definitely a more chunkier poetry book than all the other ones that I am used to but still quick because a lot of the poems are small of course so you will get through this in no time but with a lot of poetry nowadays it's hard to kind of like tell you what it is about exactly so I'm going to be reading you the back so you get a feel of what this is going to be about with honesty, poignancy, and romantic flair, Love Her Wild captures what is both raw and relatable about the smallest and grandest moments in life. The first glimpse of a new love, a late night drive singing along to a car radio, the irrepressible exuberance of a female spirit, the simple pleasure of a good whiskey. Atticus distills the most exhilarating highs and the heartbreaking lows of life and love into a few short lines, ensuring that his words will become etched in your mind and will awaken the sense of adventure. So when I read that, I was like, oh my God, like I need to feel that. I need to, I need to be one with that. And needless to say, I definitely was. This describes it to the T more than I could ever to describe it to you. And they are dead on with what you're going to take from this book. I feel like the beauty of poetry, and tell me if you agree or not, um, I remember the first time I read a poem, I remember my English teacher, he told us to read this poem, I forgot what it was at the time, but he said, um, tell me what you think that means. And it was interesting to know how different everyone's thoughts were on just one small poem. And I think that's the beauty about poetry is that you can interpret it however you want and it's not going to be like wrong, you know? Um, so for me, um, with adding on to what they talk about, for me, it's definitely the highs and lows of life, but more importantly, the highs and lows of falling in love, especially falling in love with someone who at that moment is not in love with themselves to the fullest that they can. Just the difficulty of being with someone that is either depressed or has something just going on with their life. And the outside looking in, you could think their life is perfect. They have everything that they need and want, but there's still something missing in their life to them. And no matter how great of a lover you are, you s you'll never fix them, but you can definitely try. And um, that's kind of like what I got from this was that this narrator, he didn't realize what he was going to get himself into, but he didn't care. He wanted to take that leap of faith in being with this girl, no matter what. Just loving her for who she is and loving her wild. And love her wild truly just means that you are going to be with someone and love that person through thick and thin, flaws and all and you're going to stick, stick by them no matter what and that's who this person was like he knew in his heart that he was going to be with her and he was going to fall in love with her even if it broke him you're going to see when you read this is that you're going to find really amazing black and white photographs that that really tie into a lot of the poems so one of them that i really enjoyed was it's not the fear of losing them that scares us is that we have given them so many of our pieces that we fear losing ourselves when they are gone. You know, this book is definitely very heavy on love. And I'm someone who has not been in love. So the parts of this that went in on the feeling of being in love, I obviously cannot relate to that on an emotional level, but I can appreciate it. But I can still feel something from it because I could feel the honesty in this because I know that this type of love does exist if you work hard for it. So um, yeah, even if you have not been in love, you could still 
um, feel something from this book, definitely. It still showcases the rawness of what true love is. I think that's even more beautiful because it wasn't sugar-coated at all. And that, you know, love is definitely not easy at all. So yeah, I want to show you a couple more poems that I really loved. Um, again, another beautiful photo. This one is, we are never alone. We are wolves howling to the same moon. And I think that has a really strong message for people. So I love that he captured more than just love in this book and focused a lot on self-love and knowing your worth and knowing that um, you should do things for yourself and not for others. And as and as this went on, you really felt that a lot. In the beginning, it was love, right? It was all about the passion and like the excitement and just everything great about love. And it kind of like got a little darker, but at the end with Wild, it kind of just, it kind of comes full circle. And it really just shows at the end of the day, you just have to be true to yourself and who you are and love will kind of follow that. Um, so that's kind of like what I got from it. And this one's definitely touched me a lot. Um, it says, I woke up from the daydream of my 20s in a cold sweat, anxious for all the lies I haven't lived. Like, if that, if you couldn't relate to that, I envy you, but um, yeah, I just feel like no matter what, like sometimes you feel like stuck. You feel like we um, can never like get over this hump of whatever it is that's going on in your life and that fear of like letting just life pass you by. So uh, that one definitely choked me up when I read it. Um, so yeah, again, another gorgeous photograph. Um, it says, don't fear, her father said. Sometimes the scary things are beautiful as well as the more beauty you find in them, the less scary they'll become. My only little critique I do have, I know who this guy is as a lover, but I feel like I wanted to know him more on a personal level. Maybe just a few poems here and there that captured him a little more because it focused a lot on her and him falling in love with her and just the difficulty of, of it. But I do wish there was some more about Strictly him. There was a couple, but I just wanted more. So it's not bad, I wanted more. Besides that, I have nothing bad to say about this. Nonetheless, this was a captivating read and something that I will always just go back to and look over. It gave me everything that it promised it would and so much more. So I hope people take away something great from this because I definitely did. So if you are someone who loves poetry, this needs to be in your collection ASAP. Um, if you are looking into poems to read and you want to try to get into them, definitely go ahead and read this. This one, it's definitely more softer. Um, there's a lot of popular ones out there that deal with a lot more dark stuff and more sensitive subjects. This was just like light and beautiful with a little dark shadows in between, but still like uh, it was just it was just very refreshing. It's just something about it, the way it looks, the way it's just presented and just it was just well thought out and just you could tell you could tell he put his heart and soul into this and that's what I really got from that. So I give this book four and a half out of five stars. Please pick it up. Let me know what your favorite poems are. If you follow my Instagram, I will definitely be posting more of my favorites on there because I I could post each one because they're all my favorites, but I definitely want to just like share them all and we could all talk about it. And of course, thank you so much to Simon Schuster for sending this along for me to read and review for my lovely viewers. Yeah, that is all I have to say about this one. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.